These are all in very high demand. They are findable, meaning I've found them at thrift stores multiple times, and they have great profit margins. This list is in no particular order. Let's start with Arcteryx. It's an outdoor clothing brand, kind of like a Patagonia. You cannot miss with this brand. Regardless of what it is, you can sell it. The rain shells and the more technical, advanced, waterproof pieces are going to be the most valuable. Be cautious of counterfeits. This brand is counterfeited periodically. Next is Fairty. They do some fairly unassuming looking shirts, shorts, swimwear. Has sort of a soft southwesterny type vibe to it. I have never had a problem selling this. It all sells for really good money. Sims is a fly fishing brand that does fishing gear as well as clothing. All of their clothing sells great. All of their fishing gear also sells great. If you find waders, those are the big waterproof pants that come all the way up to here and they have the overall straps on them. Those sell wonderfully well. Even if they have holes in them, if you can get them for cheap, like at a garage sale, they will still flip for around 50 bucks at least. If you find their jackets, like their rain shells, those are probably wading jackets, W-A-D-I-N-G. Those are worth a lot of money. If you find their fleeces, those are just a great bread and butter piece. Even their graphic tees sell really well and for above average money. Viore might be the easiest men's clothing brand to sell in pre-owned condition. They do athleisure clothing. They were ascendant during the height of the COVID pandemic and they've stayed on top. Their sell through is through the roof and their prices are great. Expect to make around 50 bucks for a used pair of sweatpants. Built with a Y does active wear slash athleisure wear. For the most part, you're gonna find t-shirts. This is not gonna bring you a ton of money, but the t-shirts are extraordinarily easy to sell and in very high demand, you can usually get around 20 bucks or more for them. Icebreaker makes merino wool pieces for hikers, mountain climbers, outdoors people in general. Easy flip whenever you find it. A sweater will be worth over 30 bucks. This is one of the rare brands that I will pick up even if it has small holes in it. People want it for the performance aspect more than the aesthetic quality of the garment. Don't mistake Icebreaker for Iceberg, which is an Italian designer brand, which is also worth money, but it's not in as high demand. Very similar to Icebreaker is Smart Wool. Everything that I said about Icebreaker applies to Smart Wool. Smart Wool is in even higher demand than Icebreaker and it is slightly easier to find. Another great wool brand, Loro Piana, different kind of wool. They make high-end suit wool. So you will find suits, sport coats, blazers, jackets, with the Laura Piana fabric tag on them. This is kind of a cheat code. If it has the Laura Piana tag on it, even if it's a bad brand, you can still sell it reliably well. You might not be able to get crazy high money for it, but something like a Joseph Abbott or a Nordstrom suit that is Laura Piana fabric, you can rest reasonably well assured. You can flip it for some decent money. If you find Laura Piana branded clothing, meaning it doesn't have a brand tag other than Loro Piana, and it won't be the thin black tag, it'll be a larger square tag that says Loro Piana on it. Those pieces are worth extremely good money and are very rare. I've only found two of them ever. Lululemon, need I say more? The men's Lululemon pieces, in my long experience, sell better than the women's. Lululemon for women obviously still sells quite well, but that market is a little bit blown out at this point because everybody and their mom quite literally knows that Lululemon is worth reselling. The men's stuff is a little bit more rare and in higher demand, and you can fetch really good prices even for basic tank tops, t-shirts, etc. Outer Known is attached to the professional surfer Kelly Slater. Everything that I've ever found from Outer Known has sold almost effortlessly and almost immediately. It's not gonna be anything impressive to look at. It's gonna be basic Oxford shirts, basic pants, basic shorts. A very, very easy brand to sell. Just don't overprice it. Pelagic is a fishing brand like Sims, but targeted at a different market. It's targeted at deep sea fishermen. So you will find a lot of board shorts. You will find a lot of rash guards. Some of it has fairly ostentatious fish print on it. It'll be yellow with blue spots, that's Dorado. Sometimes it'll look like sonar readouts. Those sell excellently. Even basic, more mundane pieces will sell really well. It does sell a little bit better in spring and summer. 
but every time I find it, regardless of seasonality, I pick it up and it sells. Cool, I think we are probably all familiar with this brand. I like it much more than Patagonia. It's been much more consistent for me than Patagonia. Every time I find Cool, it flips. If you have a little bit of an eye for seasonality, it will flip faster, but that's another brand that I just disregard the time of year. If I find it, I pick it up. There are hundreds of other men's clothing brands that are worth picking up, either universally or in specific categories. I wrote something called the Menswear Manifesto. That's a document compiling 269 of my favorite men's clothing brands. And I break each brand down by sell-through rate, average sale price, and on a category by category basis. Plus I give notes for each brand about how to sell it and what to look for when you're sourcing. This is available on a pay what you want basis. So if you wanna try it out for free, you're more than welcome to do so. If you'd like to pay me something for it because you think you will make money off of it, which you probably will, apparently people have had great success with it, then consider giving me something or using it circling back around and donating something to me when it does pay off for you. The link to that is in the description.